What's up folks, James of Welsh Gamer News here. Now, as you probably, if you've seen any of my videos, uh, noticed a few months back that the Need Speed Reboot will require an online connection. And you know, I, was, I wasn't happy with the news. I know a lot of Need for Speed fans out there weren't happy with the news. It even got to a point where there was a change.org petition. I'm actually looking at it now, it's only hit over 2,000 supporters. But that's not why I'm doing the video. Um, Ghost Games, who is the EA-owned developer of the new Need for Speed game, which is obviously coming to Xbox One, PS4 and PC on the 3rd of November, has actually spoken out to explain why the racer will actually require a constant internet connection. Now this is what executive producer Marcus Nielsen told the official Xbox magazine. We've been pretty big with Autolog throughout the years, and as we know, it's a really powerful feature, he explained. Uh, he's talking about the Autolog that was actually used in, I believe, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Uh, my opinion, probably one of the best Need for Speeds of all time, but that's my opinion. He continues to say, this time around, we're going to give it more of a human voice. It will treat your friend's play as if it's part of the narrative experience. Now the new game, which is simply titled Need for Speed, also has an in-game image capturing system. This too benefits from an always connected environment. Nielsen continues to say, we also have a new snapshot system as well, which is taking pictures of a lot of different moments out of the Need for Speed network where people can like them, and those likes are being pushed back into the game as currency. So you get progression from sharing your photos with your friends, and if they like it, you get currency, which... <sighs> okay then. Uh, now the Xbox One has really good built-in systems to make videos and stream them, which we are also going to use. Now like I said, it launches November 3rd on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC. To me that doesn't justify the always online connection. I'm sorry, it just doesn't uh, i was skeptical about the game when i first heard it i thought right let's see what why they have to have a constant online connection and this with regards to taking pictures and getting people to like them which will help the progression of the single of the story sounds a load of bollocks to me <laughs> that's just like i said that's my opinion that sounds like more gimmicky so it could be a laugh for like five minutes and then people will just get bored of it really quickly now they probably have sorted out the drm we never know but i'm surprised ea are going down that route i'm pretty confident it's ea's decision to put the drm in but bearing in mind the developer of the need for speed reboot is ghost games and they are an ea owned developer now, I'm going to put a link below in the description of the petition. Like I said, I don't think the petition's going to do anything. I've got to be honest. But this, this is the thing. If you're not happy with the Need for Speed being always online, simple, just vote with your wallet. If you're not happy with it, don't buy the game. And I, I know that's probably going to hurt a lot of Need for Speed fans out there because I do like the Need for Speed franchise. The last one was, I believe, Need for Speed Rivals. Yeah, that game was alright. That was online, but you did have the choice of going offline. To me, this isn't an on a good idea. Now, when I heard about it, I was saying in my head some kind of cruel things that I'm praying that this does a Sim City, but I'm hoping that's not the case because I know people are still going to buy this day one. They're going to fork out £50, $60, you know, full retail price for this game. But that's the only thing I don't like about the Always Online. You pay full retail price for the game, and you could go three, four, or say five years down the line at the most, EA can cut the servers off and then you've practically got a coaster or a frisbee, which I don't agree with. You're paying full price for a game, that should be able to last pretty much the rest of your life. But all I can say, folks, is for, vote with your wallet. If you're not happy with it, about, about it, just don't buy it. Uh, I'm most certainly not going to buy it now because, to me, they haven't justified the always online. You know, oh, I, I like the auto log that they had in Hot Pursuit. That was a good thing. But I think only time will tell when, you know, you hear more about it coming closer to the date but at the moment i'm not convinced at all and i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of neef speed fans would be really annoyed with this as well other than that this is james of welsh gamer news you take care you have a good day